So uh, today I talked mainly about uh, the relationship between the culture and democratization. Uh, I uh, argued that uh, uh, the biggest difference across the world is the difference between uh, individualistic cultures and collectivist cultures where individualist culture play more, uh, uh, emphasize more uh, individual achievement, collectivist culture emphasize more adaptability to the uh, community. Uh, and uh, I've argued that uh, in an individualistic culture there is higher demand for democracy because it's, it favors the achievement of, of these, uh, of these uh, goals. And so uh, the idea is that uh, uh, individualistic countries might have less revolts, but uh, when there is change, it's going to be more change towards democracy, whereas uh, collectivist cultures uh, uh, will maybe have more revolts, but uh, uh, it will be a change from one autocratic system to another one more often and, and less often to uh, uh, democracy. Uh, so uh, there's also a relationship between uh, culture and income. Uh, individualistic countries have uh, higher rates of innovation, whereas collectivist countries have better coordination of economic activity, but, but higher innovation may lead to higher growth rates in the long run, which explains why uh, countries with uh, a more individualistic culture have a higher uh, income per capita. So, so there's a link that has not been explored, that is that countries with an individualistic culture might have higher income per capita and also higher rate of uh, democracy. And so that might explain part of the link between uh, income and uh, democracy. Uh, when it comes to MENA countries, where uh, uh, we are today, and, and you know the theme of this conference, uh, democracy is, is very important in the whole world, but this is even more important in this region. Uh, in terms of my talk, uh, MENA countries are uh, uh, you know, in the middle between individualism and collectivism, uh, and uh, they have had a little experience of democracy, so that makes me optimistic uh, that uh, MENA countries, if my theory is correct, will actually catch up and uh, become more uh, democratic.